All right, so we're not going to look at the underlying energy since we kind of already got a lot of cards to work with right now. So we're going to just go ahead and take a look at this. So in the past here, you have the Knight of a Knight of Wands, which is talking about somebody that could be very, that could be very passionate, very exciting. Uh, this is someone that it, you can really go on adventures with. This is also a travel card too. So I don't know if y'all have been traveling here. It's not coming, going back and forth to see your boo, or if this is somebody that you, uh, this is someone that you feel is very attractive, very fun and exciting. The thing here is with the Knight of Wands is that he's kind of unreliable in a certain way like he doesn't he has commitment issues in some 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 respects because honestly he's all about transmitting his energy he's all about giving his energy out and in a very you know you know um exciting sense okay but he doesn't necessarily go out of his way to try and make you know be serious and make stuff work you know put concrete stuff into it so there could be somebody that was you know you know pretty much going um, coming and going into your life. Um, this could also, this can also be somebody that is a Sagittarius Aries Leo, um, that's coming up in your, in, in the past year, or this could be even you guys, right? Not saying that you're unreliable. This could be that this is your, this is the energy that you guys had when you guys were having a lot more fun. You guys were enjoying your life, but I don't think so. Okay. I don't think this was mostly enjoying your life. I feel like this was a, this was honestly a struggle in some, in some ways. Um, this is very interesting for the Nine of Wands. He doesn't typically do this. He doesn't typically he doesn't typically beat down and exhausted and ready to give up and then constantly dealing with the moon. Like he when stuff gets hits the fan, he travels. He goes off and finds something that's enjoyable. And at this situation, it could have been that there's some it is an individual that has an age difference with between you and them, and they are going through a certain time or you were dealing with them because they were going through a time of exhaustion. Or maybe you were dealing with somebody that you felt was having commitment issues or they just they were showing their unreliability. So it it made you internally feel very exhausted, kind of like I said, ready to throw in the towel, but you didn't. Okay. You didn't throw it you didn't throw away the towel. You didn't give up. Um, but I do get a sense that the situation kind of led you to a place of limbo. Like the moon. I mean like the moon doesn't typically go into limbo state. It's more of the hangman energy, but I do get the sense here that it was, you know, there was a, there was a time in this relationship where it was so, so confusing. Yeah. There was a lot of intense emotions because the nine of wands is restless and it's just, like I said, exhausted. It's a storm coming in. So that's probably why the room is getting darker, but like you have the, like you have so much going on and it's kind of confusing, right? You're like, you're having to just kind of remain defensive. Um, there's some energy, there's, there's some defensive energy here in the past that's definitely coming up, but, and it was a, it was a time of confusion. Like you just didn't know what was going on. You didn't know what was happening. You didn't know what to do. And the moon, the person that you were dealing with wasn't being very clear about their stuff either. It's like, you kind of really had to walk on faith with this individual, kind of go on faith. Um, even though you were really tired of dealing with their BS potentially. Um, okay. I, this could also, you know, be that, you know, you were trying to have fun. You're trying to enjoy your connection, but it was so exhausting and you were, it got to a place of confusion. Okay. Um, uh, but ultimately I feel like this could be someone else. This could be someone else entirely. This is your card anyway. This is you guys. All right. So a man or woman, right? This is the Queens are cardinal signs and you are a cardinal signs. You're a cardinal sign now. So, you know, the, the Knight of Wands coming up, this is somebody else that's probably younger, someone that is, a, or has a different maturity level. They're probably potentially the same age, but they have a different maturity level. Okay. Um, but then with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, that's just, that's crazy. It's just like this person was literally having a struggle to deal with this individual. Okay, but despite having to go through the moon, I feel like you guys remain determined because the nine of wands, he doesn't just give up, right? He stays there. He stays determined to, to finish the cycle. He's almost there anyway. And I feel like this person knew that. And I feel like this person like could feel that they're getting close to something despite how hard they've been standing, how hard they've been fighting, how long they've been standing there. And they've overcome this difficult energy of the moon where there is not a lot being seen. There may be some things that are kind of some shadow work. I know the Knight of Wands is not good at being sneaky. 
they're very easy. They, they just they just automatically tell the truth. I feel they don't necessarily care about what you think. They don't really care. So I don't think there was any shadow work potentially or anybody cheating. But I do get the sense that there was just a lot of stuff that wasn't being said and a lot of stuff that was that wasn't able to be seen. Somebody was probably potentially not really sure of how they felt. So there was a lot of confusion about this. But I feel like there was just some determination to keep pushing through, keep moving on, keep getting you know keep keep walking and following their intuition. Because the you know the nine of wands is indicating that you there, there was a want to kind of give up of this <laughs> give up the situation, but then there was determination that really pushed through that really got them through. So with this kind of this is this kind of effect here with the moon intense energies and everything, I feel like you guys come out on the other side here. Or this there's somebody that's coming out on the other side. I really feel like this is you guys because with the queen of wands, this is showing me that you guys are feeling more confident in yourselves. You feel feel like your energy which is absolutely fantastic i love this i love that you guys feel in your energy um and i get this feeling that with the nine oh, sorry the queen of wands that you know you feel more um determined to go ahead and get what you want right the queen of wands is very active she's very socially um she's very socially uh, attractive like she she has a she emits a lot of energy just like the knight of wands but she's like naturally this way right she's very authentic to herself she doesn't she doesn't play around either she doesn't she doesn't mess hang on turn the light here so it's a little a little brighter in here but um yeah she doesn't take any mess but she's also very she's very uh go-getter she's very active um and she 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 goes for what she wants there's nothing that stops her she utilizes her emotions and pushes through it um she really kind of she she she's awesome she's also she's magic you know what i mean the queen of wands she's magic so you since you guys are magic here i do get the sense that there was some determined you know there's some some not procrastination but some detail oriented looking all right this nine of pentacles could have been a a um could be a uh, taurus virgo capricorn but i really feel like with the knight of pentacles well, you know because the knight of pentacles he looks at these pentacles really closely he really he's really detail oriented he's really looking at what's going on right what is what is this what does this pentacle have to offer him he doesn't necessarily he's the longest he's the longest knight to or the he's the slowest knight of the deck rather and i feel like with the knight of pentacles like there was this like this time of slowness and this is slow even slow for you i feel like you're just drag like this is just this feels like nothing's happening the knight of pentacles moving so slow and the queen of wands she moves fast okay she may not move as fast as the queen of swords but she's fast she, so is the knight of wands at least there was something going on in the past right sure there was some drama sure there was somebody that wasn't really sure if they wanted to commit to a relationship but there was still some progress being made there's progress being made now but it's slow as progress and it feels like externally that nothing's going down nothing's happening because somebody's potentially taking their time looking at what you know looking at what they feel is valuable and really really looking at it too this individual is not is, is potentially procrastinating maybe but i feel like here because this is internal this is looking at the details looking at what is of value to you potentially you guys may be looking this could be you guys right this could be you guys looking at uh, look at your heart and figure out what is valuable what do you want to offer to somebody maybe you are trying to offer something to someone but you're not necessarily sure yet maybe there's something that needs to change just some sort of change of perspective but this environment is put on hold because of the knight of wands i a knight of pentacles rather and the queen of wands there's something going on here with these three and I feel like it's because somebody may not be sure if they can commit or they want to commit. That's where they're looking at the details. Let's go ahead and take a look. Why is the hangman in the external energy? Give us some clarity on this. Okay, the queen, the queen of wands is the reason why there's the hangman in the presence. So there could be that there's somebody around you guys that's, you know, that is another Aries that's potentially or someone that you feel that is their, you know, your other suit. However, I'm getting the sense is the reason why there's a hey man, there's a perspective that needs to change about yourself. What is this what is this perspective that they need potentially on themselves? What is what is this perspective that they need for the Queen of Wands? New love. Ace of Cups. Okay. It's okay, so you guys are very yeah, you guys are 
because it's about your confidence, all right? And I feel like with the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands is confident. She doesn't care. She's like, she wants what she wants. She'll go get it. And that is you guys, right? That's why the, she, you guys have her card, have this card here, male or female, because it don't matter. If you want something, you're going to go get it. But I feel like there's, tw you know, once bitten, twice shy energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, you're taking a slow time. There's some slow energy going on here. Because you're not, because somebody's not sure if they can commit. This this may be, this may not be you. This may be somebody else, right? It could be that somebody here is taking a slow time, really trying to figure out what they want, figuring out what they feel is of value to them. And they're really slow and they're really taking their time with it. But at the same time, you know, they're kind of like, you know, they're they're making this process so slow. And honestly, then no, then there's no decision. There's nothing can nothing can happen until they make a decision about potentially the queen of wands and starting something new in love with them all right but i feel like this is about this is potentially about you know you know the queen of wands figuring out what it is that she wants figuring out what it is that she really wants to manifest if she can trust going out and do, falling in love with somebody again because in the past here you had to deal with some crazy behind it who, who didn't know what they wanted so you're like, well, I don't know if I want to put my time and effort into building a relationship with somebody like that again. Somebody that I don't know is going to actually commit to me. You've got some serious experience here that's kind of like, you know, that's, that it's understandable to tear you away. But there's a hangman energy. That, there, It's all on your part, I feel, Aries. It's all up to you whether you want to start something new with this individual or not. You know, you've been through this before, but... You have this, you you know, you're attracting new energy, you're feeling yourself, you're feeling more confident, you know, you have everything that you need to maintain and to create a beautiful relationship. You have an ace of cups here, it's just going to require you to be more emotionally open. Um, and I just get the sense here, I just get the sense here that there's a bit of hesitation with the Knight of Pentacles. There's just something that's kind of holding you back because you don't see all sides here. You're not sure if you want to settle down and commit to somebody that, who potentially like to somebody like this in the past but you don't know if they're the same person right you don't know if they're the same person that came in that missed you you know that confused the crap out of you potentially right you don't we don't know and it's all about taking a leap of faith and going out and doing it and that's going to require confidence and bravery see you hear that rain guys i don't know if you'll hear it but in the future you have the wheel of fortune that's the second time around that's the second chance that's that's, that's this is a wonderful card um, and I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune coming up, this is talking about a situation coming back around for, you know, a, you know, come back around to test your, um, test your knowledge of the situation to really see, see where you, where you have learned, right? To really give you another chance in a situation, really. But this is also fate, right? It's also fate and destiny. And whatever happens here, it's meant to happen but you it's all about your response right it could be like you know it could be like a you know a, a test potentially but you have clarity when this comes up you have clarity in this situation you know what you know what you're looking at when you come into this energy and you also are you know you're coming in a place coming from a place of wanting to balance some things out all right off the get-go like the, you're gonna want to really get things moving but i like this energy this is beautiful you got something coming back from the past, or you potentially have a second chance at something. Some potentially new love altogether, right? Potentially with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But this is this is a sec this is like a second time around, either with a situation in a relationship that you guys currently are in, or that this is um this is a second chance with somebody from the past, or this is somebody this is another situation in regards to building a relationship with somebody new. But it may have you know this is this is in a sense similar. But you have clarity here and you have, you know, you have the ability to see what's going on. You know what your heart wants. You know what you want. You know what you need internally. You know what path you need to take to get to where you want to be as happy. And it has a lot to do with maintaining balance, a positive give and take, right? Making sure that the relationship itself is a very balanced energy. Yeah, but there's something about this present here. Somebody's not really making a decision quite yet about what they want because of what they feel is valuable what's worth their time the knight of pentacles he when he commits he commits he'll go into it man but that's why he's so slow because he has to make sure that they're you know 
that is something he can he he wants to commit to because once he commits he don't back out <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and see what's going on with your romance angels cards this week flirt this situation is calling for you to have faith yeah man that's what i was saying it's going to require you to trust this past situation is a test to see if you can trust yourself and trust yourself through the situation where there's somebody that may not have been reliable and now there's a chance now a second well this is an, an opportunity now to begin new love but that was holding you back from hold from what's holding you back for potentially from gaining new love is that is potentially this past energy right it's whatever's holding you back whatever decision that you're looking at whatever you're trying to analyze it's, it's going to require trust in the end of the day. You may not have all the answers with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's all about going on trust and releasing whatever this was, surrendering to to the perspective, which is that you are at a different place. You have gained so much. You are in your power now. You're so much, you're so confident, right? You're so, you know, you're so magical, okay? And you can get what you want. You can have what you want. You can be happy. You've come so far. You've worked so hard. And you could deserve to have the love of your life. But do you see it that way? 